Aum Sum was busy getting ready for the day, moving quickly around his room as he brushed his hair, tied his red tie, and grabbed his things. In the middle of this small morning rush, huh? he picked up a cotton swab to clean his ears, barely paying attention, until he felt a slight drag inside the ear canal. When he pulled the swab out, he stopped in his tracks. A thick yellowish streak stretched across the tip, catching the light like a tiny golden smear. Curious, he tapped the swab lightly on the table, noticing how the wax clung stubbornly instead of falling off. Then he pressed the swab against his palm, noticing how the wax smudged and held its form without breaking apart. As he stood there, hands paused mid-motion. One single question rose in his mind. Why do we get earwax? Huh? So, let's help Am Sum solve this question. Why do we get earwax? The ear canal is a remarkably specialized passageway, designed not only to carry sound, but also to shield the deeper structures from <laughs> harm. Its lining contains two major types of glands, <laughs> sebaceous glands, which release oily secretions, and ceruminous glands, <laughs> which produce a thicker, wax-like substance. When the products of these two glands mix, they form cerumen, commonly known as earwax. This mixture is rich in lipids, fatty acids, alcohols, cholesterol, and even naturally occurring antimicrobial compounds. As the cerumen coating spreads, it traps microscopic debris such as dust, pollen, fungal spores, loose skin flakes, and even small insects that might wander inward. Huh? The sticky texture keeps these particles from reaching the delicate eardrum. <laughs> Earwax or cerumen also contributes to the ear's mechanical defense system by reinforcing the canal's protective shape. The ear canal is naturally curved forming a gentle S-shaped pathway that helps block direct entry of foreign objects. Ceramin enhances this barrier by coating the canal's tiny ridges and folds, reducing the risk of sharp particles scraping or irritating the skin. The waxy layer adds a slight cushioning effect, softening the impact of any object that accidentally enters. Ceramin also helps maintain the ear's natural pH level, creating an acidic environment that harmful microbes struggle to survive in. This acidity isn't accidental. It forms a biochemical barrier that blocks bacteria and fungi from multiplying inside the warm, enclosed canal. Without this pH balance, even minor scratches or irritation inside the ear could become vulnerable to infection. By constantly coating the skin and reinforcing this acidic shield, cerumen acts like a silent chemical guard. Inside the ear canal, cerumen plays an important role in keeping moisture at the right level so sound can travel clearly. When too much water collects inside the canal, from bathing, sweat, or humid air, the skin can swell slightly, and swollen skin disrupts the smooth movement of sound waves. To prevent this, cerumen absorbs small amounts of moisture the moment it appears, helping the canal stay dry enough for sound to bounce cleanly along its walls. Earwax, or cerumen, also helps regulate temperature <laughs> inside the ear canal, protecting sensitive tissues from sudden heat or cold. The canal's thin skin sits close to delicate nerve endings that can react sharply to rapid temperature shifts. Ceramin's dense, insulating layer slows these changes, creating a stable microclimate that keeps the nerves calm. This protection is especially useful in windy or chilly conditions, where the canal might otherwise cool too quickly and cause discomfort. The ear also has a built-in system huh? to remove older cerumen without any outside help. The skin inside the ear canal slowly moves outward in a steady, conveyor belt-like motion, starting from the eardrum and traveling toward the opening. 
As new cerumen forms deeper inside, it attaches to this migrating layer of skin and begins its gradual journey outward. Movements of the jaw during chewing, talking, and yawning create gentle pressure shifts that help nudge the wax along its path. By the time the older cerumen reaches the outer edge, it has dried, hardened slightly, and loosened from the skin. It then flakes off or falls away during normal daily activities. This is what we refer to as earwax.